Now that we have all our pages colored, we're ready to cut them out. Okay, so when we cut, we're gonna cut outside the black lines all the way around all of our shapes. And if you want, you can leave cut here straight down to the edge of the paper and leave this little strip of paper attached to your house to make a flap and then you can glue it to another piece of paper for the ground or you can just cut it cut it out and it will be open on the bottom all the way around. I like to start with the smaller things so the tiny roof and whichever door you choose um, you can cut out the big roof and then cut out the shutters and then cut out the front and the back of your house. Okay, so now I have all my shapes cut out, but you can see I just cut around the outside of the shapes and I left the little um, tabs in there. And now I'm going to go cut those out afterwards because it's a little bit easier for me. And then I'm going to show you um, a cool trick to do with the shutters. Okay, now all my notches are cut out and I'm going to cut the shutters out and I'm going to show you a cool trick to make the shutters open if you want them to. So first, you can cut right across the top and the bottom of the shutters and then the sides, but leave a little bit of extra purple paper on each side and that will be a flap that you can fold over and turn into a shutter that opens and closes. Then you can cut right on the side of, of the shutter, each side on the shutter, and now you have one pair of shutters that opens and close. You can leave a little flap on the other two shutters, but they're so tiny that they're hard to fold and glue. So you can just cut those right on out. And now everything is cut out and you can do your doors and your windows. So you can choose to cut out some green paper to make a spooky window. I just um, put the green paper on top of the purple paper and I'm gonna make a little line um, to show about the size of the window four squares, I can cut those out and glue them onto my windows if I choose. And it's okay if they're not exactly perfect. I think that looks kind of cool that they're uh, different sizes and um, in kind of different spots. Or if your grown-up has an exacto knife, you can ask your grown-up for help to cut the windows out and then you can cut a piece of paper, green paper or any color paper, and put it behind to make um, your window that way. And now we're ready to do the door. You can choose to leave your door um, colored if you colored it, leave it on your house, or you can choose to cut the door open and fold this door open, or you can cut the door all the way out and glue on another door. And I'll show you how to do all of those things. Okay, so now I made a cut on this line and a cut on this line at the top of the door, and I left this door, this line attached so that I can fold the door open. And you can see that I cut out this little flap at the bottom of the door so that um, it's just the door now it can open. But if you want to use one of the other doors, you can choose to cut the door all the way out and now you have a hole ready for um, your new door. Now we're ready to fold on the dotted lines. So you're gonna make a fold everywhere you see a dotted line and fold the paper to the back side uh, of your house. Okay, so now I have all my pieces folded on the dotted line. I have two flat shutters and I have two shutters with little flaps that can open and I have my front and the back of my house and all the folds are <clears throat> going to the back. And if you left the bottom flaps on your house, you can make a cut right here at the corner of the house. Just cut that, make a little cut line right there so your um, floor can fold up. Now you can put glue on all the flaps and glue the flaps together onto your house. You can put glue on the shutter and glue it right next to your window and then it will make the shutter open and close. Okay, now my shutters are on. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tabs of the roof and I'm going to fold it and put it right over the front door. I'm using my fingers to stick it down. 
Okay, now I'm going to put some glue on the tab of my door. And I'm going to slide the tab behind the wall. And stick it down. Okay, now I'm going to put glue on the tabs on the side of my house. And I'm going to glue the front to the back. And then the small part on the front gets glued to the other flap. So you close the house and glue it together. And you can use your hands to get inside from the roof, inside from the roof or the floor to push that glue down and make sure it holds on real tight. Push this one down here too. Push, 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 push. So now I have a house that's glued together at the sides and it has an open roof ready for the roof. Okay, so the easiest way to glue the roof is to start with um, one side. So not the front or the back, but the side of the house. So the two flaps that are um, pointing at each other. And I like to <clears throat> put my roof down um, with the fold facing that way and put some glue on the flaps of your roof. It's hard to do because now there's parts poking around. You can put your fingers behind it and do that or you can use tape. And when the glue is on both sides, you can lay your house down so that the there's a little bit of space on the side and the point is all the way up at the top of the fold. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue the other side of the roof on. You can put your fingers behind and use push against the glue stick. Get lots of glue on there. Get lots of glue on this side. It's tricky. Gotta be careful. And then I'm going to fold the roof down. And put it right where I want it. And now I can stick my hands up inside the floor and push the flaps right onto the roof. Whoop. We've got a little house. So if you left the flaps on the bottom, you have some little flaps to make a floor. You can use any piece of paper and just uh, put some glue on the flaps very carefully. And put your house down. You can stick your fingers inside the door. Make sure those flaps get glued down in just where you want them to be. Push on the roof just very gently to get it stuck down. And look at that, got a spooky house.